What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. So Before entering the ruin, okay. I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. Hey! Don't pass an opportunity like this up so easily! I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. I, I, I can't accept... Well then, you will have to rely on your own experience. You... you... You have if you want me to if we discover the truth behind the god of salt I can accept well then As man uh, are these statues? No. These are people. Duh. They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? <laughs> Yeah, crumble. Yeah, yeah, God. with salt uh, just looks like a fancy salt holder seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures according to my knowledge it's no ordinary vessel although it is only half full it is also forever half full that is to say it is bottomless what you're saying that even if I pour the salt out the amount inside won't change exactly able to produce endless salt <sighs> The God of Salt is powerful indeed. Finally. I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune! Hey, how can you use a relic? If Mr. Clement wants this salt ch- Of course. At Since we have a contract- Then let's move on. Huh. 
Just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. No! Unacceptable! I paid for and organized this entire expedition! Why should I get the short end of the stick? And this girl has been useless! Why would she get anything? Oh boy, here we go again! So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you! Let's not forget who hired who here! Why should I let you make the rules? Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I... Will suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. Pay your dues. This is order. Can't run from debt. I shall confiscate your treasure as well. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Leave this place. Oh, darn you! Just you! <laughs> Some archaeological survey? He could only pretend for so long. Yeah! Good thing. Clement's wrongdoing stemmed. When people see the up, I think we should be. Huh? Be that in truth. W why do you. Miss, you lack. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you met. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you you're right. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago, when the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. Oh, right! During the war, we... So I seek... <sighs> we agreed to a con... Naturally. Come with me. Rise! Gather! 
Order guide you. This is... Aha! Uh -huh. It's a broken sword! This is proof! This proves that the God of Salt had to fight the power of this sword. If we can repair... Two pieces. W why? Yes. <laughs> um... Zhang Li. When there's a con... No! No matter what. Even if it breaks the con... So you are all... Zhang Li. That is to say... That... That's okay. The God of Salt gave up her life to protect... Punish me... No! You... Perhaps that... As punishment. Huh? The truth? You mean the truth is my punish... Yes. I'm afraid to say... Rather, she was a... <gasps> during the arc... But Havrian's... However, during... After making... No. In her last day... Not even a single... This sword is... Murder weapon. No! As I said... Preposterous! Indeed. Let's follow her. Uh, are these statue thingies running? Probably find a head. Salt. And betrayal. What are all these? What did they see? What? Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated, leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <gasps> the story continues that some among her people re the Archon War. But... No matter how weak those who could not... Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyua. Their descendants, so they risk, but they need not have done so. Uh, I... this must be a... don't you dare try... Yikes! This is the... Pr judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately... Indeed, faith in a god who... so it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. All right then. Now. Huh? <sighs> Treading old one cannot help. <sighs> 